Welcome to Akuma America. We're here today to talk about preventive maintenance, and we want to better help you protect your investment, make your machine tool last a lifetime, and produce performance parts. So let's look a little bit deeper at the functionality that comes on your OSP control that may be able to help you track your daily inspection items along with periodical maintenance items. So if you have an updated OSP control, whether it is a P300 and or newer, you have what we call OSP Suite. Within OSP Suite lies the functionality of maintenance monitor that simply does that. It helps you track maintenance on the control of your specific machine tool, no matter what category of machine tool that may be. So, as we dig into the control, if you go to your home screen, you see the guy with holding the old jug, you can open that particular software and it specifically shows you your periodical maintenance items and daily inspection items. So while we're on the control, let's start with what you'll do on the frequency of a daily basis. So every day, OCJ or Akuma suggests that you perform these maintenance items to keep your machine tool in tip top shape. As you can see, they're already preset. It has an inspection type, whether it is just a pressure check, whether it is uh, a cleaning, whether it is a level check, whether you need to remove a component and replace it. Uh, but those are your daily inspection items that need to be addressed. And you can simply, with one click of the button, execute that you've done that daily inspection. So one step further, we wanna look at periodical maintenance items. These are items that need to be performed on some frequency and that frequency may differ. It could be every 100 hours, it could be every 400 hours, it could be every 4,000 hours, but it specifically lists what that periodical maintenance item is, the type of work that's associated with that line item, where you are as you approach the interval, where that line item needs to be addressed, and how many remaining hours you have until you need to make sure that that action has been performed so you don't run into a situation that could possibly make your machine tool go down. Some great functionality on OSP Suite Maintenance Monitor is you can actually go into the control and add customized maintenance line items for periodical maintenance, depending on the way that you maintenance your machine and or the part or application that you're cutting. So for example, we have one preset in this control and I'll show you how to make that work. So you simply, in Maintenance Monitor, go into Change Mode. You will start Change Mode by clicking OK. One thing to remember is Akuma, or OCJ, preloads periodical maintenance line items 0 through 1000. So when you start the sequence number for a customized line item, you need to start at sequence number 1001. So if you scroll down through all of the preloaded items to the very last line, you can see, for example, we preloaded one starting with sequence number 1001. You can put what that line item is by adding a quick summary or description. In this particular case, we put that we wanted to wash down the table, and we want to be reminded and notified of that at the interval that we decide to select in the control. So the type of work this is, you get to input that. We selected that this work will be performed by the operator. On the progress line, this shows you how close or how far away from hitting that interval you are. In this particular circumstance, the line item that we loaded, we said that it needs to be performed every eight hours or what most manufacturing facilities would consider a complete shift. So you can measure the way that this count takes place in a number of different ways. So if you click on the scroll down number, you can see that you can count by power on, you can count when the machine is running, you can count those hours when the machine is cutting. You can count the hours when the spindle is turning. And you can also count those hours when axis movement is taking place. So you have a number of different ways that you can count the way that you get to that interval. In addition to that, you get to select the interval. So there's obviously a default interval in there, which is zero hours, but you can select what the interval should be for that particular line item. We also have two ways of notifying you that you're approaching that maintenance interval. You can have a notice with one set of alarm, or you can have a warning that, that is displayed by another alarm. So you can choose by toggling down whether you want a C alarm or a D alarm. 
And you can do that for both different areas, the notice and the warning. With that said, that's how you add a customized periodical maintenance line item to OSB Suite Maintenance Monitor to keep your machine in tip-top shape. Now that we've talked about OSP Suite Maintenance Monitor and how to track daily inspection items and periodical maintenance items, let's talk about the Care PM kits and the components that are in those kits for most of our Akuma lathe. When it comes to protecting the aspects of this lathe or other Akuma lathes, it's very important that you change out your wipers. There's many mechanical components in and around the cutting area that are very costly and expensive such as the ball screw underneath these covers and or the linear guides. Maintaining a good wiper in good condition can keep chips and coolant out of those areas and can really keep you from having an expensive failure. When it comes to the lubrication system on an Akuma lathe, one of the first places to look is the lubrication pump and tank. One thing that we recommend, and it's also included in our care kit, is the wafer filter. So the wafer filter is located in this lubrication tank, and we suggest that you change it on an annual basis. So one additional component that we include in our care preventive maintenance kit is the filter element for the hydraulic tank. The hydraulic tank on this specific LB3000 Akuma lathe is located on the backside. We suggest that you change this filter when you're performing a PM cycle. In addition to that, with any of these fluid tanks that I've described today, we recommend that you look at the fluid, make sure it's clean and clear of debris and contaminants, and also check the level to make sure it's in the correct operating range. When it comes to the electrical side of things on an Akuma lathe, most of the critical components are located in the electrical cabinet. This is where all of your OSP drives and boards live, and what we want to look for is to make sure that all of the cooling fans are free of being blocked, they don't have any trash in or around them, and they're, that they're actually circulating air. The other thing that we would like to look for is look around all of the connections, all of the essential places on the OSP boards and drives, and make sure they're free of contamination and debris. So today we focused on preventive maintenance. We've talked about OSP Suite, maintenance monitor, and the way you can track daily inspection items and periodical maintenance items. We've talked about care preventive maintenance kits and the components that are in those kits. We've also looked at those components and the different areas of the machine tool where they're located and things that you need to look at or be aware of when performing preventive maintenance.